Hey, what's up guys? So yes, Jay Wink here with the review for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 10. So yeah guys, this is the big episode before the mid-season finale. And, um, but I think I'm gonna probably talk about both of them in this video, like how I'm gonna talk about, um, the flat both episodes of The Flash and the Arrow episode, the crossovers, uh, the two, the Arrow and the Flash crossover and the mid-season finale, The Flash, because I'm gonna talk about them three all together, and I'm gonna talk about these two together, and then I'm gonna talk about the two, um, episodes of Rebels later on tonight. So, yes, guys, the episode of... Closure and Mavith, or however you want to say it, I don't know, but or Mavith, I think I don't know. But these two episodes, oh my god, fantastic! You guys know if you guys have watched from when I started in season two and to where I am now, I am a huge big fan of Ward <coughs> and what happened to Ward in Closure. So we're gonna spend about like maybe like Four minutes on closure and then the rest of the four minutes on the mid-season finale. So yeah, um, closure was a fantastic episode. It was really setting up this huge climactic thing that was going to happen in the mid-season finale. And um, it's cool to see at the beginning of the episode, Coulson, well, Coulson and Rosalind are just having dinner. And, and she's dead. Coulson goes over and grabs her and she just dies, right? She dies in his arms. And Ward gives him a call. Yeah, now you know how it feels to be like me. Suck off. And he just hangs up the phone. And it's an amazing thing. And it's, it's, it's a huge, huge thing that is really interesting to see. And then we take our turn to, you know, that um, Powers Booth wants um, Ward to get Fitz and Simmons so then they can go back to the planet. And the, the planet, if you guys did, if they, if they said the name of the planet, um, I didn't catch it. So please let me know in the comment section below. But yeah. So he, so then Ward has to go and get Fitz and Simmons after Coulson sits down and talks to the group about, you know, everything that's happened. You know, they, he wanted as much intel on Ward as possible. And so then Coulson, Bobby, and Hunter, they all go off and decide to, you know, get, you know, find their ace in the hole. And uh, before this happens, Coulson makes Mac the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is a very interesting thing because he knows that... Because Coulson knows that he's going to go down a dark path and that the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. cannot do that. So he has to give it to somebody who won't cross those lines and be the best they can be, and that is Max. So it is very cool to see that. And it's very interesting that he chose him, and it, I really do like that because he trusts him enough to leave it to him because he was willing to leave last season, but he did decide to stay because of his love for S.H.I.E.L.D. And so, so I think Coulson kind of sees a little bit of himself in Mac, kind of maybe a little bit, but, um, just moving on. So then they go at Coulson and his little group, they go after and try and go to find Grant's brother, um, uh, not Christian, but, uh, uh, man, I don't remember his name. Thomas, Thomas Ward, they went to go get him, and then they use that as their ace in the hole after Ward gets Fitz and Simmons, and he torches Fitz and Simmons, and then he gets a phone call from Colson, he's like, yeah, bro, you know what, I got your bro, so you know what, give up my people and give up your location or he's gonna die, and they're like, whoa, 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 no, 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 and Ward, you know, you see Ward, he actually does care for Thomas a lot, and he wants, he wants him alive, you know, and we do find out that Ward... You know, he is, um, his parents form, did not really form him. It's the path that Ch Ward chose to be what he thought was the best thing he could be. And that is the best thing for a villain of any kind of thing. Because I think that is really why we like David Tennant's character. Why we like Vincent D'Onofrio's character. Why we like Tom Hiddleston's character in the Marvel, in these three characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because you see the depth and you think... And these characters think that they are doing the right thing, but they are obviously not. So it is very interesting to see all these characters, these very interesting Marvel villains, come together and work like that. And so, yes, um, and then, um, you know, we do find that out. And then at the end of the episode, um, Sky and all of them and his, her and human buddies, they are all there and they're just kicking, well, they're not kicking ass, they do that in the next episode. But yeah, um, and then... Ward and his team takes Fitz once they get the portal open and they take him down into the, you know, onto the planet to find the ancient or this big inhuman that is on the planet that, you know, was 
uh, was there. And um, it's very interesting to see that um, this actually happened. And then at the end of the episode, Coulson dropped right into the hole. Well, into the portal. And boom, the portal closes. And it was very, very cool. And moving on to the next episode, Mavith. Or Mavinth, whoever you want to say it. Um, a very, very awesome episode. I really did love the mid-season finale for this show. For, for well, you know, for Aiden the Shield especially because it, it is such a huge thing. And you guys know how much I love Ward. And I felt like with this character now, they have created a new, new path for the character to go. Because he dies at the end of the episode. I'm just, I just want to get it out there. He dies. Coulson crushes his chest with his black hand, with his new hand, takes it off, leaves it there, goes to the portal with Fitz, after Fitz kills Will, which isn't actually Will, because Will was already dead, because that ancient inhuman already took over his Will's body, because he killed him when Simmons left, and, um, if you can't tell, I'm already excited about this episode, but yeah, and he took over Will's body, and Fitz kind of killed him, or killed Will's body in a way, so the host couldn't be there, and it's kind of reminiscent of kind of what happened in um, season two of Star Wars The Clone Wars, where the brain invaders came in and everything, and we see that kind of happen, where these worms infect these people's, where they infect their brains and stuff, and they become zombies in a way. But, you know, they very much have control, they very much are themselves still, but that little bug, or whatever it is, are still inside them, making their decisions for them. But, um, yeah, uh, and then at the end of the episode, we see Ward. He's standing there with Coulson's hand in his pot in his hand. Powers Booth is like, well, I'll be damned. And then you just see Ward just standing there, and then the, like a little thing just trickles, and he's just like, you know, and you got that creepy head turn, and oh man, you just get pumped for next season, and I am well, the rest of the half of the season, and I am definitely pumped for the rest of the season because of what they set up and how they really did it. And it's going to be a huge, huge thing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I feel. And it's just going to be awesome, I feel, in my opinion. But, yeah, guys. Um, let's talk... Oh, so, a little bit more in the episode. We actually do get to see Daisy, um... Lincoln, and what's his name? Oh, man, I forgot his name. Um, the guy that can melt stuff. I can't even remember his name right now. I think it's... G no, it's not. But, you guys know who I'm talking about. The other Inhuman that can melt stuff. Oh, man, this is bothering me. I can picture the name of my... Okay, I'm sorry. Enough enough awkward silence. So, yeah. um, It's very cool to see these three actually go into the base and fight. Well, and Mac by their side. And have to go into the base and fight. And, you know, take care of business. Which they do, of course. You know, as in humans. And, except for Mac. He's not inhuman. He's human. But, um, very cool to see all of them together fighting. And it's definitely kind of a start of um, the... Secret Warriors, which is going to be very cool, and I really am looking forward to seeing at the end of the season when um, they have to fight Ward and Lash. So, moving on to Lash, we see that um, he gets out. Um, he gets out in the episode, and he is he goes and kills all the other Inhumans that the ATCU had, and, you know, now they got another threat on their hands, um, and, you know, it, everything just went all balls to the wall in this episode, and I felt like they worked. It, everything, a lot of things happened in this episode. A, really, a whole lot of things did. And I felt like everything worked. I really did love the episode. So, yeah, guys. What would I give these episodes ratings? Definitely a 4.5. A 4.5 out of 5 winks for closure. And a 5 out of 5 winks <laughs> for the mid-season finale, Mabeth. Um, really looking forward to next season, well, the rest of the half of the season, and Agent Carter. So, yeah, guys, I will see you guys later. J-Wing, wink it out!